Retro Phase. Its sticky tentacles captivated the attention of millions of kids in the 80s. Brightly colored octopuses found buried in a sea of not salt water, but Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks. It tumbles and crawls down walls and even glows in the dark. Let's tumble down memory lane to see how this squishy, sticky sensation surfaced onto the scene in 1983, cementing its place as one of the most prominent premiums of our childhood. You might recall we gave the Wacky Wall Walker a brief mention in a previous video celebrating cereal box toys and prizes from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. In this video, we're taking a much deeper dive and we'll open one from the 80s that I've been saving for just this moment. But wait, there's more. Fads are generally useless sensations. They're like college pranks that you pull on a national level. And there are things that sweep the country, everybody goes hysterics about them for a while, then the next morning nobody wants them, but meanwhile you've made millions. <laughs> you can thank this guy for one of our favorite free prizes inside, Ken Hakuda. In 1982, his young son received a present from his grandparents in Tokyo, a wall walker. In Japan, they went by the Japanese word for octopus, which is taco. Just a few inches in diameter, made of rubber and finished off with a sticky adhesive coating, you throw it at a wall or window where it sticks momentarily before seemingly crawling down the surface. Ken was immediately fascinated with it, and with no one having the North American rights to them, the Harvard Business School grad saw a golden opportunity. He took a risk, investing his life savings to purchase the licensing rights and started selling them in small gift shops and drugstores around Washington, D.C. In everyone's life, there is a turning point, Hakuda told the Washington Post. It became so clear to me one day that if I was going to take one big gamble in life, this was it. Now, by all accounts, the toy was only moderately popular at first, but still wacky enough to draw the attention of the Washington Post and then the CBS Evening News. The media coverage launched a tsunami of orders. The phone rang for two and a half months. People came to my house in limos looking for wall walkers, Hakuda said. Initially stocking 300,000 of them in December of 1982, he received orders for 7 million, including major chains like Woolworths and Kmart. By January, the orders more than doubled to 15 million. A factory in Korea was eventually set up to keep up with demand and control costs and quality. This is what I like about Akuda. He wanted these toys to last beyond their usual 90-day lifespan. He was looking out for us with the ultimate goal of making them a premium product. That's something you get at a low cost, like 99 cents with any purchase at Wendy's, or for free when you buy cereal. Coming at you free, your own wacky wall walker. As a free prize inside Kellogg's brand cereals in the mid 80s, I distinctly remember pulling one from a box of Apple Jacks. You likely found yours at the bottom of a box too. As who could have told the post, there are in the United States 43 million children under the age of 13. This promotion will distribute about one to every child. By the end of its meteoric rise, more than 240 million wacky wall walkers found their way into American homes. It even sparked a Christmas special. Is this where the star goes, Daryl? Deck the Halls with Wacky Walls aired on NBC in 1983 and included voiceover work by the legendary Dawes Butler and Peter Cullen. I told them walking on floors can be dangerous. All right. I think now's a great time to break away and finally crack open this 1983 Wacky Wall Walker. Still sealed, never been opened, more than 40 years old. Let's pull it out. There we go. Now, the whole reason I got it in the first place was for this. The Wacky Wall Walker Holiday Cartoon Special Promotional Card coming soon in early December on NBC. And on the back, it's got the directions. Throw your wall walker on smooth wall or glass when dusty, wash in soapy water. Rinse and shake dry. Do not towel dry. Avoid lint. A plastic bag makes a good home for wall walkers. Uh, let's see. Tradex Corporation, 1982. Tradex was uh, Ken Hakuda's company. And now for the wacky wall walker. Look at that. Oh, and it's still sticky. Whoa. It's still so sticky. Now, I was told this one was a bit busted. It is. And you can see that that cute face with the little button nose, tentacles 
All right, let's give it a try. It's working. Look at this guy go. This is awesome. All right, let's get back to your wacky wall walker history lesson. Dr. Fang, take a walk on the wacky side. Dr. Fang, find some fun that is bona fide. Dr. Fang. Years later, Hakuda would embrace his fame and brand himself Dr. Fad, hosting a TV show of the same name from 1988 to 1994, which celebrated creativity and introduced the world to kids' inventions. We'll leave a link in the description to his website to see what the inventor is up to now. Wacky Wall Walkers are still being sold to this day. If you want a guaranteed wall walking experience that, uh, won't cost you 30 bucks on eBay. Do you remember playing with these when you were growing up? What did you like to throw them against? The wall, a door, the mirror, and uh, which cereal box did you scoop yours out of? Let us know in the comments. Then use one of those sticky fingers to uh, hit that like button and subscribe to Retro Days. I'd also like to invite you to check out my 80s and 90s channel. It's called Nostalgic. Got a link in the description to that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon to celebrate more of yesteryear. Clicky clicky.